This is James Bent here with Recruit 757. I'm here with uh, Derek Nixon after tonight's 35-14 victory over the Bethel Bruins. Derek, Ward sitting at five and four, and you're a big part of that five, that five wins so far. What was your mindset coming into tonight's game? Um, you know, we just came out from Ruth off of Phoebus, and we went to get our win column. We went to get a big win, especially on our homecoming night. Um, I knew coaches were going to come through, Lyle was going to come through, everybody's going to come through, we we're going to pull it off. Derek, what's up? Uh, What's your mindset knowing that the playoffs are right around the corner? Are y'all looking to the playoffs or are you looking at next week? Um, we take every game week by week. We take the schedule week by week. We want to know every week. Um, but you know, we plan on going to the playoffs and doing you know what we do. I'm here with Coach Hairston after tonight's 35-14 to victory over the Bethel Bruins. Coach, uh, talking to Derek, uh, he told us you have two words, fear and faith. Yes. So what, what does that mean to the Ward football team? Well. We, we try to fear no man, and we have faith in our program, we have faith in our coaches, and we have faith in ourselves. So that's fear and faith. Coach, we, we watched tonight, I watched Derek Dix, or Nixon, uh, both sides of the ball. I watched him throw the ball, I watched him run the ball. He seems to be a very special player. He is, he is. He, he's a kid, he gets it done in the classroom, he gets it done uh, on the field. He's an overall just great kid. And see, that, and that's something that, you know, that people have to understand, student athletes, not That's athlete right. students. That's that, right. The student comes first. That's right. Um, Derek, I watched you tonight. Not only did you have great, great passes through the air, but I also saw you playing good defense as well, as you had some big runs that kept Ward's drives alive. Um, what do you see as your biggest asset? Is it your arm or your legs? Um, I believe it's my legs. Uh, I used to play running back, so my legs, definitely. Definitely, and I saw that tonight. I saw, but like I said, you had some pretty touch on that ball. Um, as a junior, have um, have you had any uh, colleges really reach out to you yet? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. What colleges have so far come at you? Um, William and Mary talked to me. Um, I was on, I'm on NCSA, so a couple colleges reach out to me on there too. Warwick sitting at five and four. Um, you've had some tough losses this year. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a tough one last week with Phoebus. Mm -hmm. How did you prepare for this week coming off of that tough loss? We we had to just fine tune things. You, you know, the thing the thing about us, we, we really don't change too much about what we do. We just have to fine tune. Sometimes you got to take the screwdriver out and tighten that, that uh, screw, and that's what all we had to do. And see, I'm watching, you know, having watched Ward tonight and haven't seen him in the past, you know, I see the change there. I see that you're building that, you're building that tradition here at Warwick. Um, in what is predominantly a Phoebus a FIBA slash Hampton slash Woodside district. Right. So, do you see Ward making that mark within the next year, oh, end of this will. year or this year? We will, we will. Um, those, those are some great programs. But, you know, again, I believe we are a great program, too. So, you know, we'll, we'll be turning the corner soon. What is the keystone, would you say, of this work football team? Offense, defense? Just just a team, overall team attitude. They're, they're about team. They're not about individuals. They're not about stats. They're about team. Well, I'm watching this work team, and I... And that's what I saw tonight. I didn't see any individuals out there. And I, right. and I saw the way you all coached and approached it from what it looked like up in the booth and seeing you on the field. You approached this as a team game. Right. Um, no individuals, team. That's right. Um, what are your goals going forward in the next few weeks? Next few weeks, win. <laughs> and then win. And win. In advance. <laughs> win and keep winning until we're at liberty. That's, that's, the, that's the plan. There you go. Um, you have, and you play, I'm trying to remember who you play next week. We have Gloucester. You have Gloucester next week, and they were coming, uh, well, last time I checked, they were up 40, I think it was 42 to eight on um, okay. Denby. So that should be a good game. That could that could really hoist your playoff, playoff uh, where you're seeding at, you right, know? So right. could keep you, a win could get you a home game, you know, sitting at six and four. Mm -hmm. um, do you find it tougher sometimes having to play some of the bigger schools, um, you know, because, you know, Sometimes when you play fives and six, do you find that tougher as being a, being where y'all are at? No. No, I mean, we, we we just moved down to four this year. So we're used to playing the five, division fives, division six. So it's no different. Um, again, again, this is our first year in, in, in four, you know, class class four. So. Well, Coach, you were the Warwick Raiders, and I saw I saw Raider Nation at full well, strength you. tonight. Thank you know, you. the fans were behind you, and, yeah. and that's a big thing, you know. You all, you all came out to play, and you had a great game. Um, we want to wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. Thank we'll you hope so we much. see you in the playoffs. Coach. Okay, appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.